I would fight her even for charity. Uh, um, <laughs> I would beat her, I, I would beat you up for her. What? She jumps me right now and goes, "Hey, can you beat up Theo?" I'm like, "Theo, I'm so sorry. I have to do this." <laughs> Lauren asked me to do this too. Oh, Robin Hood over here. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna step in and beat up a woman? Yeah, you. <laughs> 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 gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Show on earth. Dude, that guy. The guy with the in the Tesla, whose wife wanted to fuck the big black guy. Huh? No, the valet guy that keeps pooping in there in the bathroom. Oh, you're talking about homeboy out front there. Yeah, quit feeding that guy. Yeah, Who is that he's guy? Blowing the bathroom up any chance he gets. Dude, car, there's a, a million cars will park. <laughs> he's charging nobody. That guy's yeah, in there. He's the worst of all time, bro. When I I've met, never paid. I me just neither. Roll right through. I don't say anything to him. He never asks me anything. You, we get charged for you every single time. Really? I pay, I pay for. Oh. He see. He, oh, he sees it. Yeah, yeah. He just knows. He, he's actually more perceptive than he, he's slow, but he sees the cars that are there. Really? Yeah. He's probably just trying to. F- He's got those fiber optics, dude. Heavy on the fiber, bro. Yeah, I'll say that, super bro. fiber that optics. That dude, every now and then I'll go throw $10 under the bathroom <laughs> stall, bro. He is literally in there every time. Quit feeding that guy. When I met that guy, he was probably 6'3". The guy's 5'1 now. And he's 30 pounds okay? heavier. Since we've been here, he's gotten heavier. No, he's not, bro. He's gotten lighter. I don't think so, That man. dude is purging he himself in there. He blows that bathroom that, up. Oh, he's going to be a newborn baby. He will he will be a newborn baby by the that time he gets done. That toilet, man. Oh, my God. It's just unbelievable, man. I wish I could meet his family or something and just look at him like, what are you guys? Let's get him in the culture corner, him and his family, dog. You think? Yeah. I wouldn't mind having him in the culture corner. What's his name, Mr. Ron? Uh, I have no idea. But <laughs> Unbelievable. You don't know his name? Nick's giving the guy $4,000. Wow. He has no idea what his name is. <laughs> Unbelievable business wow. practices. Hey, do they, do they charge you for parking, Nick? Uh, no, we get two passes a month. Oh, good. That people don't get charged. What is this? The Senate, man? Just the fucking the <laughs> checks and balances system Just over a here. Just shit show. Unbelievable, dude. Just a shit Just show. Just giving money out to anybody in a restroom these days. We got the boys from Tiny Tacos on today. Yes, sir. Are the ta- so I'm confused. Are the are they Tiny Tacos? Is that the thing? One of the guys' name is Tiny. Bro, quit licking your lips, dog. When you <laughs> look over at me, dog. <laughs> you can't be wearing that pug shirt, man. Not expect a little little love. Everybody what? loves a pug. Yeah, dog. I know that, dude. But just look, then look at the shirt. Don't look at me. I can't help it, man. You look at me like I'm a menu, dog. I look at you like you're a fucking Damn. pizza roll, doggy. Yeah, chill get out, bro. Breath. Dude, pattern. Get off. Do your lips like that, bro. Your lips are all wet, I get bro. Some gloss on there. Yeah, quit looking at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being crazy, man? Y'all been smoking the scotte up in here, man. Nah, dog, you just different now. That's how we do it in L.A., dog. <laughs> what do you mean? Gay to look at other man like that in L.A. In Nashville, it is. Bro, y'all change, man. Y'all different in Nashville. You got the chains out, doggy. I got that chain, boy. You, where's the, Where's the second one from Coles? I took the other one off today, man. I don't want to go full four hundred. You don't want to go full on them. Not trying to stunt. Yeah, I feel you. Take it easy. Sometimes you don't want to see people and make them feel bad about the chains you have on. You know. But if they know yours is fake, it probably makes them feel. This better. ain't fake, baby. Three hundred dollars. Ah, that thing ain't. That, that's probably plated gold, daddy. Oh. Like, don't take a shower with that. You know that. Oh, you know yeah. That. It'll go right you down know, the drain. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. A, it's going to fall off in the water. B, <laughs> that gold's going to come right off. Dude, you could uh, you could I, you could put this under a sleeping miner's <laughs> nose and he wouldn't even wake up, I bet. Nah, yeah. man. That thing's not going to sound off the metal detector. I don't know, man. This thing might be it might have more gold inside of it. It's pretty thick. No, nah, I don't think so, man. <laughs> what? Damn, it looks crazy. dope though. Your shit looks too pricey, bro. Run with that shit around your neck, bro. I know. A couple brothers will take that from you. Go to DC. Go to Memphis with that shit on, bro. I'll go to Memphis. They ain't going to do shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see- sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the first 48, which now is basically the first 4,800? There's been like 2,000 episodes. Dude, they never yeah. solve shit in 48. It's ever. like, oh, Pookie. Yeah, Pookie. Uh, two months later, Pookie <laughs> showed up at the police department. Yeah, yeah <laughs> one, one they solved a year later, man. <laughs> Yeah. Skittles had no idea why he shot up the child's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's always Memphis. 
It's always uh, Toledo. Miami. Miami every yeah. now and then. <laughs> Miami ones are dark. Yeah. No oh, pun intended. Miami winters. So there's no, it's like, yeah, they, there's no reason for any of the shootings. No. It's just not even, yeah, at least Memphis, it's like it's at a kid's birthday party or it's at a quinceanera or something or like a black quinceanera. Yeah, it's a friend's wife or some shit who does the murder. Yeah. That's just Stunts. Yeah. Stunts hasn't been able to be located by authorities. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're giving an update. Yeah. Get, Biscuit showed up a month later with no shirt on. Yeah, and everyone gets life in prison. Yeah, That's yeah. how that show ends. Spoiler alert. Every single first 48 people get life. Dude, and how much money are white people making off of black people shooting each other on that show? <laughs> Go look at the executive producers of that show, dude. Oh, they're balling, dude. Yeah. Think of the guys who came up with cops. Yeah. These cops, they're not doing anything different. They might they might not beat as many people because they're on camera, they're, but they're not doing anything different. But that song and was then good. Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come what for you, you bad boys? My mom used to put on hand cream and turn that on. Dude. Hell yeah. It was the first show we were allowed to watch as a family. Oh, it was a big deal. What you going to do? Yeah, I'm back to the minority. That was the jam. Oh, please, boys, to control it. And then the dog would get the guy into the boat. Oh, I love it. Yeah. They got rid of cops. Thanks, far left. Shot down cops, but the leave first 48. Yeah, man. It'll come back, man. You think? There's 435 episodes of the first 48. And I've seen about 434 of them. Oh, yeah. Tiny Tacos is here, huh? Yeah. You want to bring them in? Yeah, let's get them in, man. Let's Tiny go, guys. Up, man. And these guys are adults, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. You can be having kids fucking cooking tacos. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? What do you mean are they adults, dog? Dude. Hit your lips with some oh, paper. What's up, Playboys? What's, what's up, yeah. Playboys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Dang, bro. Good to see you guys, man. I saw you fellas doing some work in the in the van in the over back. there. In the, yeah, man. In the, oh, pop open, popping open the trunk. Doing some finishing working touches. The, Oh, Finishing y'all out there out? doing trunk work, huh? Yeah, that's what's up. So trunk now, sitting trunk. sideways with tacos. <laughs> and the yeah. minivan, you, got, you know? Are you guys, uh, how'd y'all get into the taco business, man? You pull that closer to you, brother. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah and you can move these or whatever. Oh, I like to eat, but, um, dog. Yes. You do? <laughs> so, you yeah. know. Which little, one is tiny? This one's tiny. Hell yeah. Damn, Small and why? Man. What happened to you? Uh, I actually <laughs> used to work in the kitchen, and that's where I got my name. Uh, usually you get your nicknames in the kitchen. You do something stupid or Hell something yeah. sticks, you know? Yeah. And I thought it was going to be cooler. But turns out when I started, I was a busser, you know, started in the front of the house, wanted to make my way to the back of the house. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there was this lady that fits you your clothes and stuff, you know. Where you at? Your, Where at? Uh, Terranea. I don't know if you. At a restaurant? Yeah, at a restaurant okay. and a resort in PV. Oh, damn. And okay. uh, so they got this fitting lady, you know, some, some Mexican lady just fitting you up, touching you, you know what I'm Hell saying? yeah. And she looks at me and she goes, she already assumes my size. Oh. And that's like the big, biggest mistake for me. Yeah, because you know, because a lot of Mexicans are big on the inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, my hands are small, my legs are small, but it's all in the belly, you know. Yeah. So she's like, "Try this shirt on," and uh, it didn't fit. The buttons were about to pop out, <laughs> and uh, the, the homie was like, "Oh, that shirt's tiny on you. You're tiny." So uh, I didn't do nothing cool or nothing. It was just it's pretty cool though. My shirt didn't fit. You it's know, a dope nickname though. Yeah, cool story, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, tiny, <laughs> tiny is a good nickname, I think. Um, I'm trying to think of another good nickname, Raphael. That's I, the first name. Yeah. yeah, we get to know you more than we give you a nickname, but tiny kind of works. Yeah, you're you big know, dude. Tiny. Yeah, tiny. It's a oh, it's like a um reverse psychology, counterproductive. Yeah. yeah. And then you guys do the work out of that van. Why not get a fucking no. food truck? No. Yeah, that wasn't the initial plan. We actually wanted to. Uh, make taco videos. Okay. So when I approached him with the plan, we we're like, "Hey, man, you're making these dope videos at your house." I was on maternity leave. You know how to cook. He was you on maternity leave. Really? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, got a baby? a baby? Yeah, yeah. He had a baby. Congrats, okay. man. Boy yeah, yeah. or girl? He's three. He's a boy. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, yeah. Congrats on your baby boy. Thanks, he yeah, yeah, yeah. He's three yeah. years old, huh? Yeah, yeah he's sir. And is he? Are you guys full blooded Mexican? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm from Mexico. Actually. You are? He actually came from Mexico. What? What part? Defe, so oh. Chilango. All right, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we almost bought that zoo. We almost invested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sinaloa. Yeah. Yep. Sinaloa. Looked like it. Then we had to do some dark shit, so we got out of it. Zoos up, hose down. Yeah, well, they had a shooting, not a shooting. Yeah, it was like a. They bow murdered and some zebras. Yeah, oh, and shit. then yeah, the thing burned down. Yeah, and zebras died. You know the cause of the fire? Or what? Uh, I don't uh, know. I there's. There's not a lot of so, like play. solid police. Work. Yeah, there was yeah, a lot. Yeah. Of, we didn't get the best reporting <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They just but asked dude, for cash. You know, if uh, a friend of mine just got married, my friend Kevin. Oh, congrats, Kevin! Well, he got engaged. He like he had to do it. And where did he use ring from? I uh, paid way too much. Huh? No, Blue Nile. He used Blue Nile. He did. Wow. Because he actually told me he's like, hey man. 
man, he hit me up and he said, what was the code you guys talked about on Cass? And now he's engaged, man. He's in love. Wow. See, see what Blue Nile can do for you? Yeah. Whatever it is. Your girl's B-Day. Your man's B-Day. This is for marriage. It is. Whatever, Doug. You want to get your, your little side piece of gift? We don't limit you. Uh-uh. I don't. I don't either. But what you can do is save money on some of the best diamonds out there. We're talking about Blue Nile, the original online jeweler since 1999. Mm -hmm. All right? Praise God, man. They have expert advice 24-7. They can help you pick out quality diamonds. Make your moment sparkle with jewelry from BlueNile.com. And King and the Sting listeners get $50 off of $500. That means you spend $500, you get that 50 off. This podcast exclusive offer includes engagement Ooh. jewelry. You want to get something quality. They it's cheaper because the middleman is going the brook and mortar stores and see there. ya. That's code K A T S plus. Every order is insured, ships free, and arrives in discreet little package so it doesn't give away what's inside, man. Go to BlueNile.com today. Yep, shop stress free and find your forever place. Be in love or hit, you know, tell somebody how you feel. Get them that rock. Go to BlueNile.com today. UFC 259. King it. It's this weekend, kids, and it's stacked. Three belts up for grabs. That's right. Three championship fights, and you want to make bank. So you can do that by going to DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UF of C is putting you in the center of the action with special odds boosts for all the King and Sting listeners. Once again, I'm teaming up with DraftKings to create a custom parlay. For the big fights, they go, hey, Shab, what are you thinking? I said, this is my three-fighter parlay. And if you bet on this, it's going to boost your odds three times. So if you bet on these three fighters, if you bet $100, you go in $300. That's right, plus $300. But all three have to win. Which three? I'm glad you asked, kids. Aljamain Sterling, Izzy Adesanya, and Amanda Nunes. If they all win their fights and you bet on the three-fighter parlay, boom, you bet a dollar, you win $3. You bet uh, $100, you win $300. You bet a grand, you win three grand. We're going sizzler, dog, with my freaking parlay, all right? So it's for uh, new and existing customers who take the Brendan Shaw Parlay. Head to the app now. Find the Brendan Shaw Special under the Odds Boost tab. Bet on it and ride along with your thick friend. New users, download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use the promo code KATS when you sign up. Bet on my Parlay of Fighters to win Saturday night at UFC 259. Take advantage of my special Odds Boost. That's promo code KATS. If my Parlay hits, you triple your money only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older. New Jersey, India, Michigan, and Virginia. Only restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER in Indiana. 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Or in Virginia, call 888-532-3500. How, how crazy. I feel like we Mexicans run this country, dog. Why is there not more of like a Mexican set like... I feel like there should be a day where everybody goes outside and just applauds Mexican Americans. Cinco for de Mayo. The, yeah, but I don't think that's it, really, bro. It's not even the real Independence Day. You guys don't have a month. No, I mean, just one Canelo. Y'all deserve fights. six yeah, just, months. Pretty just pretty one Canelo, Canelo fights. fights. That's pretty that's, uh, much it. Where everybody comes. And he fights. Like, he yeah, fights this he weekend. Mm. Oh, he does. Canelo the, fights this weekend. Oh hell yeah! Is he? Fights he's Mexican. Him. Oh, yeah, yeah, from Guadalajara. Oh, that's where, wow. That's where my mom's from. That's actually. where my girl's from. Yeah, yeah, That's why yeah. I heard that your girl's from Guadalajara. Guadalajara. And I was like, oh, shit. Flaming Heart, Hot Cheeto Capital, man. Yeah. Is it really? Yes, they love them. Damn. Yeah, I heard they snort them up there. Just yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Huh? You guys need yeah. to make a, fla a Guadalajara Flaming Hot Cheeto Taco, son. Dude, that's like Scante, that. bro. That's Scante, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. That? Scante. What's up with that broken My ears perk when, when you said Scante. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Speaking of Escante Warriors, we do. We should do a sock check, fool. Oh, a sock check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys got some black socks on? Yeah, do you guys have high socks Wait, you guys just have black socks on, though? Yeah, dude. Rick Flair's, dude. Oh, that's what's up. I got to pull them up, you're right. Are those your clears? Why don't they make a sleeping bag for Mexican kids? Like it's just a big sock. <laughs> a big, you know? One big sock? Yeah. You fit two. I think everyone has decent socks on. 
But you know yeah. they're gonna share, it, right? Yours are just gonna be, they're gonna try to fit yeah, two kids. I had to match the outfit. You know, I was all I, black on black. How you do black. a sock call and have a business sock? Who? <laughs> it's business black. That's, what it is. That's fair. It's business black. But yeah, I feel like yeah. they don't. I feel like they should have a Mexican uh, like appreciation month or something. Don't you guys feel like that, or like you guys Mexican don't even month. care? Mexican I don't know, dude. Netflix. To be honest, I don't really. You guys like fly under the radar? Care. Yeah. Yeah. We're, I, did, I just we're behind the scenes people. You know what I mean? We don't really want the. I feel you like want it, and you know what? They don't. They also back off. My right? <laughs> bad. I just sometimes like uh, while other while everybody else is fighting and arguing about stuff and different races are are discussing. Mexicans yeah, are working. Just getting the fucking job done. Agile. It's like, yeah, it's like just show up, do work, keep going. You so know. So you guys have a brick and mortar store? Or how no, you doing? man. The 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 original plan was to make these tacos, right? So it's one taco a week. We film something, you know, present it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the month, the, the people get to vote which taco they want to try. So at the end of the month, we do a pop-up shop somewhere. We set up somewhere. And whichever taco is the most, you know, popular. That's what you're That's what we're going to serve. And that's just one taco. Just one taco, one taco only. Okay. And just set up. And once we sell out, we sell out. Okay. And for the next yeah. month, we just keep turning over tacos pretty much. Yeah, and it's a specialty taco. Yeah, so, so sometimes we'll have a guest, and then like you guys, we get we made you guys specific tacos. Yeah, those were with your background and whatever. Yeah. We have them right here. I don't know Hell if you yeah. guys are ready to munch on those. Yeah, boys, but well, yeah, I, gotta show yeah, I mean, I will probably this boy been ever since I've walked in here. This dude been asking me about tacos, man, and keep keeps wet, my lips, wetting his lips with his tongue, bro. Quit doing that, Sorry, bro. bro. That's how my lips got chapped. Really? I just keep thinking about food, <laughs> you know, just like. Mm. So, did, but did you, did you guys think of ever doing a, a food truck? Uh, yeah, it. it's yeah. it's in the plans for sure, a hundred percent. What would be a lot easier? What it would be easier? Yeah, it would be a lot easier. What's the tough parts about getting to that food truck level? Like, what is it? Is it worth it to go from like what you're doing now to to, to a food truck? Is there more like possibility for to make money? Is there? Is it more of of a burden? Like, what would be? Right. Yeah. Well, there's definitely a large market for it, and I think the hardest obstacle for us is. We have full time jobs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, okay. are you not full time like, taco makers? Yeah. No, oh, we're, our side yes, we're getting there. Just, oh, yeah. what's what's the regular gigs? So I am a yacht manager, and I work for post office. Yeah, oh, you do, dog. Yeah. I fucking love the post office, dude. Yeah, I, I wanted to. Uh, uh, I see you guys. Uh, the battle between all the postals yeah. and the FedEx. I was like, they don't want to play. You know what I'm saying? USPS. Damn, yeah. Uh, yeah. USPS. Mm, you don't play with us. You know. Damn, what I'm saying? bro. Yeah. Who's most likely you think to carry a pistola? You think out of the different people? <laughs> UPS. Uh, DHL probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those you know some shady's yeah. going down. Bro, DHL they just wear eyes, bro. Are they, well, they already spies? got the. They already got that gangster. They just got acronyms. white bands. They don't even <laughs> got <laughs> logos or nothing. I don't even know where they get these people. Yeah. Dude, the one guy showed me he didn't even have any logo. He had a tattoo on yeah, his arm. Yeah, he was like DHL. <laughs> DHL. <laughs> DHL ratchet, man. Yeah, dude. And the guy, yeah, had the fucking package taped around his waist. I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, go up into apartment building so they can make it easier for him. Yeah, you just tape and you're a yacht manager, you said? Yeah, yeah. I work for a company that manages yachts. So oh, damn, basically, Bowler. yeah, no, no, not really. So what is <laughs> yacht, dude, how crazy is people on yachts? People that have yachts, it's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, they're balling, but you never see them. No, that's just yeah. like a status for them, you know? Right. They, yeah, they hardly are. It's supposed to be one of the worst investments you can make is a boat. I'm sure, but for I the agree. staffs, a lot of time the staff are just sitting there on the boat every day. They just clean it and tighten it up, and then it's just kind of chill. Like, um, I, I just got to go on somebody's yacht long, long ago, and it just blew my mind. It was like the yacht's just kind of sailing around the, con the, the world or whatever, the countries, and then, then sometimes the owner will come and hang out on it. Yeah. But no one's on big. that bitch for like a while. The no. staff's so, just on there, right? Yeah, and salt water is basically just acid. So it just corrodes <laughs> everything on the boat. So it needs constant maintenance. And you you, you need a crew to manage a yacht. Yeah, really. fuck. So, you need that freshwater yacht. Yeah. <laughs> a little lake yacht. Yeah, lake yacht. I heard I heard a story one time that Albert Hainsworth bought a big yacht and put it like in a lake and then it... It, 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 it didn't and, work out? Yeah, it lost a lot of money on yeah. it. Yeah. But that could also be just something that somebody said. Oh, so, but is the goal to retire from the regular nine to five gigs and oh. just slang tacos all day? hundred percent. Don't you think you could get Seriously. that with a food truck? Yeah. You pull up yeah. to Hollywood, you pull up to, you know, Venice, Abbott Kenny food truck days. Right, right. You guys yeah. would crush it, man. hundred percent. I've had some yeah. shit food trucks. Yeah. Well, I, I think I, I kind of see it now as almost like a easy money tacos or easy money, maybe, maybe easy money food, something quick. And, you know, I, it just... You're talking about the trucks that are out there. Some right food now, right? trucks that are yeah. out there right now. Yeah, it's, it's like, just like it's like quick. quick. It's just like yeah. um, 
But you, but you guys, could you at that this level, the level of your tacos, can you knock out a bunch of those all 100%. at once? It's all about the Fuck prep. Fuck yeah, yeah, it's all about the Hell prep. Yeah. This guy's now. Are you ready to see? Because you seem like you're ready to freaking mail in the other job and go oh. and taco up, bro. Duh. This guy wants to manage and go yeah. next level. I, and you nah, seem like you nah, might nah, be. I'm on the, you seem like you're stuck I'm, on the yeah. He nah, seemed like dude. he's kind of fucking on the tour top. Yeah, about you're it. in the middle. <laughs> of the nah, ocean. nah, nah. You said eight, yeah. a nine to five, more like an eight to eight yeah. kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gnarly. Tacos is. No, the USPS. Yeah, yeah, so oh yeah, yeah. They don't play. Tacos twenty four seven. Yeah, son. yeah. That's you. Well, <laughs> for them, for them, <laughs> nobody else is <laughs> looking at ta- googling tacos. He is. Day, they yeah. got a show about it, man. His name's Tiny. For God's sake, <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> it's a way of life. Man. Um, yeah. I'm just wondering how much do it, how much do it, how much do it, does it cost to get a truck? You think? Like, how much is that whole thing? Have y'all looked into that? Or they say he's asking you if you want to be business partners. The base yeah, is like thirty, I think. For like something basic, you know, just like a basic truck. But I mean, we got ideas for it to customize it just to make it pop a little think more. Think about this: your tacos are marketing. Say less. Say less, dude. I'm down. Say less. Say less. Say, less. say more, actually. Say, say, more. say, more. say more. Say more. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say Let's look at one right here. See what we got here. You see something good here, Nick? This one. Like 35? we don't even want one that drives. We just want to take it with us. Oh, you oh, want to really? You want to? You talking about that trailer now? It don't. That, that, that pulling hitch. part. Oh, yeah, that 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 wheel. Wait, do you have a truck though? <laughs> huh? You, is any of you have a truck? Uh, I got a Rav Ford. I just need to install. No, nope, we can't set up a Rav Ford. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing says we make shitty tacos like a Rav Ford. Don't you know the kind of Rav Ford, man? I try to look at the Forerunner. I was like, uh-uh, that ain't, that ain't in there. I would buy a taco out of a Rav Ford. I, I ain't a Rav Ford taco, son. <laughs> Especially at like a widespread band concert. <laughs> no, dude, sir. I'll eat a grilled cheese out of fucking some out of some man laying in a van with a wolf, dude. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I would easily uh, at a at a widespread panic concert. Somebody would. Easily... I have a full rack of ribs out that Rav Four, but you guys can't uh, get a trailer and hook it to Rav Four. So we're gonna need yeah. an actual operating food truck. No, absolutely. That'd be way easier. Hundred yeah. percent. You know, we just post up tonight nine Tiny's tacos. All the sh- Here's all the taco shows. of the day. You got yeah. Theo shirt off, thong, cheeked Hell up. Oh yeah. Tacos oh. resting on just that that bee sting backside. Just fucking. <laughs> I don't want that. Fuck yeah, uh, bro! But you want to work? Hey, dude, you want to sell tacos or not, bro? I don't know if I want to. All right, yeah. I want to help you We're guys. We're just help. spitballing ideas here. Let's get up. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Or ping ponging. Yeah. yeah, ping ponging ideas back and forth. Yeah. All right, and that, not into. Have it. y'all ever done a um dessert taco? That's no. for. Hose. I mean. Man, these real taco guys here, man. Yeah, my man. bad, man. The gimmicks, yeah. you know. Yeah. You gotta, you got I gotta try. I try to steer away from the gimmick stuff. Really? Because you a real one. I try. It kind of, it doesn't get me angry. It's just like, oh, we kind of got oh, like the Kobe Bryant. People tried a Kobe Bryant taco after he died. You know, it was like a dark meat kind oh, of. I'm gonna stay away from this. <laughs> yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay away. But from no, it. those I see all kind of stuff like that. Yeah. They had all kind of like gimmicky things. You know, the churro yeah. taco. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. the right. fuck out of here, bro. Well, yeah. anything you throw throw hot Cheetos on anything or like corn. Or just like, but here's my with the hot Cheetos, the, the Guadalajara taco. We crunch the flaming hot Cheetos on just top of it. On there. Mm. Yeah, you get that Ooh. soft and then that crunch. After. Yeah, and then That's we send the one of those tacos. That you've ever seen that big fat Mexican girl who does everything with flaming hot Cheetos? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Have her <laughs> yeah, yeah. It. She eats. Yeah, she eats it all. Ooh, mail it she, to someone. Yeah, and she's just thick and eats that taco. And she's like, tonight, Venice, 9 p.m. Damn. My lips are getting chapper by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to try some of these tacos. What, what, what have we got in here today? Well, we got well, I, bu- I bought tacos for everybody. Oh, gang, man. Um, we'll start and you got to bring those business stuff. partner too, man. I don't want to neglect him. Uh, that's Sleep Dog. That's Sleep, sleep dog. dog. He's our photographer. No, we'll, we'll slot vision. Yeah. Flea Dog, yeah. Who's Flea Dog, uh, man? <laughs> and, and can one of uh, you serve it and the other one explain what... Uh, is being served? Is yeah, that possible? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll I'm serve it. You so explain because you got you got that uh, photographic memory, dude. Right, cool, cool. Right, we'll start off with that. Should I stay low? Yeah, don't have that. Where'd you boys come in from? San Pedro. San Pedro. Oh damn, bro, Texas. Right here, man. San Pedro. It's like down south. Oh yeah, I've been over there before. One ten till the end. Ooh, pop, pop, that's for Shop's uh-huh. taco right there. Oh, this uh, but, is? Yeah, that's for Shop's taco. That's that big boy. That's too heavy for you, daddy. Actually, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's got coleslaw. That, yeah, that's a uh, ratatat right there. Ooh, that's that, that uh, crawfish the boil one. And what's Bang. this, the salsa? That's, uh, that's for uh, your uh, birria rat- taco. But this one's just for... Uh, Damn, those these are nice. This is my style. 
And yeah. That's no, that's not it. No, that's, that's Chins. Else. Yeah, that's something else. It's oh. it's Chin, Chins Dang. not here, right? Chins not here, right? Yeah, we'll start. We'll just start with the. Uh, we'll just start with his taco. Okay. We'll, okay. we'll move on. Yeah, yeah. So this uh, is my. This is the. Which one is this called? Uh, the rata ta. Now, fellas, I, no, no disrespect, and I'm in for for the food truck business. For I should sure. only take one bite. I can't. No, it. go oh, ahead. No, no, no yeah, I'm on a diet. Your boys. I know. 10. I didn't want to ruin it. You know, yeah, you ruin your. I appreciate it. You've been working real hard I didn't on it. Cheat on my son's B day, man. I know. Yeah. I heard. I heard. Uh, so I couldn't find Sad, any crawfish. Bro. It's really hard to get over here. Oh yeah, it's hard to get. So man. So I looked online for some crawfish, and they were like, "Oh shit, there's three pounds, uh, three bucks a pound." You know. I get to the to the ending, and uh, turns out it's like eighty bucks. It's all shipping, yeah. so they shipped that live shrimp. So I got that Crenshaw shrimp right there. Dang, bro! L.A. River. Oh, that's oh, that yeah, Crenshaw River shrimp. That's that Crenshaw shrimp. shrimp. That gunshot shrimp. And then that comeback Came with sauce. The gold chain. Yeah, yeah. So that uh, has shrimp, onion, potato, uh, corn. Um, has a nice Louisiana mm. seasoning on there, and then uh, coleslaw with the comeback sauce on there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little spicy. Nice and salty, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, God. You no. fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. You fuck with it. Thank you. Uh, interesting. Tortillas though. I think we got a business life, here, though. boys. Oh, he's got to tell me because I, I I never been to Louisiana, so I never that really potato had. Potato is good, man. I think. Let me get one more little bite. Out. Yeah, you tell yeah, me. me another bite. You don't want no salsa on that bitch, Theo? Why you knit like a hoe? <laughs> <laughs> you knit like a white girl, man. <laughs> What are you talking about? You're, like <laughs> white, dog. You're fucking white, You're dude. Like, Ooh, this is spicy. Your wife's not you, and she's always mad at you. So what are you, yeah. you talking about? Yeah, you're right. And they stay mad. Yeah, they stay yeah. mad, man. They're spicy. They stay, they're man. spicy. You can tell oh, she's yeah. feeling on about how uh, spicy she makes that salsa that day. Oh, you know? really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's how you set the mood. So yeah, she's she angry. Can't she made me, it man. spicy. She can't phase me. You guys this is get. good, man. I think it could be fantastic. What's up? I think it needs a little bit more of a kick to it, kind of. Okay. But it's a it's safe. It's salsa, dog. This is definitely a safe, like a real good safe starter for a, uh, it's got enough kick for that start, you know? Take me home, yeah. Theo. I want to see it. I mean, I think Take it me with go, you. Honestly, bro. It could go. Show, give me a tour. It could go with, <laughs> it could go with some Poirier's, bro. That's what it could I never been for. there, so it's kind of hard to base a Louisiana taco when you've never been there, you know? No, it's a good effort though. Yeah, it could go for some broken windows or something. On it, I know? use that Cristal, <laughs> that Cristal hot sauce. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's good. Even has a little bit of that Vietnamese style too, which uh, that that tortilla is fucking great too. Yeah, man. yeah, we make them. Thank you. Handmade tortillas. Handmade. A lot yeah. of you can't, uh, you can't bullshit the tortillas, man. There's a lot of Vietnamese tortilla, really, mm-hmm. man. There's a lot of Vietnamese in uh in Louisiana. Okay, for sure. A lot of people mm. do. Are you guys big fans of the double tortilla? Like I don't know double, about like it. Like a double taco? No, 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 like when you, when they put two tortillas yeah. in no, a taco. No, too much, too much, too much. That's what yes, we're saying, dog. Yeah. We got to get rid of that double tortilla. tortilla shit. Yeah. yeah. They're trying to fill you up. And yeah. They skimp on the meat. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what they're doing. So mm-hmm. what is yeah. y'all's home life like? Do y'all got families or what is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's what's up. TJ Miller's hot sauce. TJ Miller's hot sauce? Yeah. TJ Miller has a hot sauce, bro. Everyone's making hot sauce. I'll put that shit on mine. Why don't we have a hot sauce? My next one on hot sauce. Will you? Yeah, for sure. I like spicy shit, bro. Yeah, I'm ready to try the next one, bro. That shit was fantastic. Yeah, definitely with that shrimp, man, at the end, it has that real Louisiana vibe. I like that that sausage, too. I think that's the OnlyFans, Only Cat, Only Taco. Oh, only for Mm. OnlyFan cats and Only Tacos. So, no, no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's in this bad boy? Uh, That one's going to have lemongrass beef as the base and going to also have a nook chomp. I said it wrong. Hand me that hot time. sauce, daddy. That nook chom? Yeah, that's a. It's oh, like yeah. a. It's a dressing that they use in Vietnam. Oh it's yeah, it's like that nook fish, chom, uh, lime and fish sauce base. Wow. And then you're gonna have pickled carrot, onion, and uh, cucumber on there, with uh, some Thai basil. Uh, Them Viet's about that life, yeah, dog. Yeah. They'll drown, bro. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> and uh, it's a little lighter compared to the uh, Chin's taco. Lighter in flavor. Yeah. See, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't like carrots in my shit. I don't know why Mexicans want to put carrots in everything. We pickle carrots, carrots though. My girl does all the time. Like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? This is so, a great dish. It's so yeah. good. They fucking toss but, carrots in but there. It's usually on the side when it's I get the, it. It's, it's for the it's for the texture, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually when you get a really crunch, fatty Papa. meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you, you get a fatty meat and then you crunch on that. Mm-hmm. Minute, yeah. And Mexicans are more stabbing or not guns, right? Guns is more black. Uh, they went more guns now. <laughs> yeah, it's more really? guns, yeah. Oh, wow. I feel like now it's a lot more, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah I forgot yeah. mine. I forgot to bring mine right now. <laughs> yeah. What's the best yes. chain taco? 
chain? Best chain? Yeah, yeah, like a, del- That's a great question. Shit. Del Taco, Taco I, Bell, Chipotle. Oh. No, they're not tacos. They're trash. Let's see. If I had to pick one, yeah. If I had to pick. Man, that's Shit, a hard that's question. A, that's that's hard because they that's suck. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you like a little spice, put that on there. I don't want that. I mean, uh, I mean, I always go Taco Bell when I'm not feeling good about myself. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Del Taco, I don't know. Del Taco, I can't. I just can't do Del Taco. Our valet driver eats uh, taco and just takes dumps in here, man. <laughs> Damn. Oh. It, blows it, it just walks away and just yeah. leaves it stanking or what? No, he uh, he, I he think, assaults that bathroom on a day. But he basis. literally, he, he goes to the bathroom probably, I would not joke, seven times seven a day. Times. He's I, on, I was, yeah, I was say seven he's on the hour, dog. Wow. At least he shows up to his shit. He needs, a, <laughs> he needs shit. to get his colon checked. <laughs> um, this is good This is a little bit more It's It has a different type of spice Kind of But it's more like A springtime taco kind Yeah of. That, 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 I, That's what I noticed When I was uh, uh, Doing a lot of research For the Via, uh, the Via Taco And the uh, Korean Taco It seems like a, a lot of the Korean stuff Is more for like Trunk food You know It's yeah. like a heavier Those Viets mm-hmm. I love and that And they, they love Like light You know lighty, Like summer flavors oh, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like it's really hot great, Over man. there Fire. Thank you Wow yeah. Two for two boys two for, Thank you all right, mm, let's go. Damn, bro. All right. Oh man, you know the uh, a lot of things you don't know how they got started. I have no clue. Like, think about uh, NASCAR. Do you know how? Sure don't. The Bible. Jesus. Yep. So some things you do the Bible, but I'm talking about his MVMT watch company. Two college dropouts, Brendan. Okay. This part, you now you can fucking tune in. Two college no, dropouts. Remember, I'm the only one with the degrees out of it. <laughs> Me went to semester at the C. Yeah, dude. Degree. I dude. got my master's from semester at the C. <laughs> Ask my mom. That's what he told me. You don't have a degree. And then, and then he said you walk through the campus of Arizona. <laughs> that ain't a good degree, Theo. You don't have a degree. The lady said you're running a fever. Okay, that's what she said. <laughs> what I'm talking about is MVMT watches. Two college dropouts got together and said, hey, we want to start a watch company that is fair priced watches that are classy looking. And bam, they did it. They sure did. And listen, you don't like to spend money. I do. So you could get a watch that typically might run four or $500 at a department store, or you can get it from MVMT. And you're talking about these watches are a fraction of the price. Yep, they have the Ship look. right to your door for free, daddy, oh, wow. for free. Oh, damn. Okay, fine then. You know what? Sometimes I can get a dope watch, and then also if I have to do work on the computer, sometimes that the, the, the light messes up my eyes. So MVMT was like, yo, how about you wear some blue light glasses? Oh, some blue blockers. Yeah, dog. dog. I love that, man. If yes. You, if you want to elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then join the MVMT movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns. So you choose it. You don't like it. You send it back by going to MV. MT.com slash KATS. Again, that's MVMT.com slash KATS. You know you've been looking at watches on their site. So support the podcast. Pull the trigger. Yeah. Save money. Get the discount. Look, man, you know about this, but today's episode is brought to you by Kratom, man. Yeah, man. I'm talking about Kratom, that super speciosa Kratom. Listen, Kratom's the Wild West. You never know. Oh, I want to try it, but is it legit? Is it pure? It is if you use super speciosa. I don't do a single episode without Kratom. I don't do any stand-up without Kratom. Mm -hmm. I swear by it, and maybe it can help you out, but you don't know where to start. This is a great place to start. So if you're going to try Kratom, it has to be from super speciosa, all right? Mm -hmm. All you got to do uh, is go to superleaf.com slash k-a-t-s that's super l-e-a-f dot com slash cats can it help me out dude help you get smarter uh-uh. would you like to be smarter because i'd like you to get smarter uh-uh. all right then don't take uh kratom dog don't take super speci- <coughs> speciosia listen all you gotta do is save 20 percent off by entering the promo code k-a-t-s that's get superleaf.com slash cats promo code cats so how do people get your tacos though uh, pop-ups. yeah pop-ups. so we're doing our first. This is your talk. This is the Brent Shop yeah. hitter. Damn. We're, dro- we're dropping the. This shit better be the best. <laughs> dropping the first episode actually on uh, the second. The second of uh. Of uh, March. March. Oh, okay. So from there, there's gonna be I one you taco the a week, moon. and then at the end of March, we should do a pop up. Dang, bro. Damn. Hey, um, see that's. How, see how thick that taco is, Daddy. That's actually goat. This is goat. That's goat. Yeah. So goat? birria. <laughs> You know birria, how you hear yeah, birria, right? Mm-hmm. It's goat. 
traditionally it's goat. So you, is it gonna taste a little funky? African, bro. No. Nah, if you go to Africa, they have a lot of that meat. Yeah, goat meat for sure. Yeah. In South Africa, Guadalajara actually their soccer team is a goat. Really? Yeah. This oh, mascot. damn! Sheep, and how do they even sheep, play? Sheep, it? They teach them how to play it. Uh, the goats? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're the starting. Uh, the starting eleven. <laughs> the baby goats. They start from baby goats. Damn, bro. <laughs> I got shitty TV channels. Then <laughs> I have like HBO Max, dude. I'm not getting that right now. So, so that's Mulita style. Yeah, it's that's Mulita got style. cheese layered okay. on it. Wow. On the bon- there's so, so we, I know we we're talking shit about two tortillas, but this one's got cheese in between. Yeah. And this is Oaxaca cheese. So that's 100 percent goat, huh? Uh, that meat, yeah, mm-hmm. 100%. Got, and baby. it's uh, braised over for like, I braised it for about overnight, pretty much. God, it was nice. Oh, this tastes like it's been heavy petted, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I took care of that. That was a happy goat, goat man. Yeah, I raised it petting, myself. So. That was a happy goat before you slit his throat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's that petting I man. whispered that in its ear. <laughs> Fire, boys. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. dude. And LA don't I have like nothing like this. Wow. And the taco trucks kill it, man. Yeah. yeah. It's around yeah, here, they kill it. You're talking guy who has a fucking show based on food trucks. That's true. Yeah. yeah. We're right going to get you a taco truck, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's dope. It. But if y'all had a truck. light work, son. It is. <laughs> the hardest part's the good food. The truck we can find. <laughs> yeah, you can't just put any taco part. in there. Well, that's, The hardest part is finding someone who makes good food. Well, that, that's right. the crazy part is that um, so anybody could get a recipe anywhere, anytime. You know, tell him, but man. I mean, oh, yeah, tell him, bro. Tell yeah, him where tell, anytime, tell dude. I'm high. Get, tell him, uh, yeah, Michael Chandler. <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell him, Tiny. <laughs> anybody Preach. who wants this anybody shit. can cook at so any who time. Know you want this fucking <laughs> shit? You want this beer up, up, up? Bah. <laughs> yeah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, dig in. Yeah, hardest part is find someone who can make a good taco. Yeah, like it's, a it's authentic, real that taco. Goat. It's weird yeah. that anybody could cook and you could copy a recipe, copy paste or whatever, but the outcome never comes out the same. Now, could you handle the pressure of being in that kitchen and, and you know? Um, we've look been at Ty. He's the worst. We've been handling the pressure. Yeah. Pop ups are not easy. They're Mexican, really? daddy. There's prep oh, and oh, agile. Yeah. Oh, I know y'all are capable, though. You got the agile, yeah. you got the vans on. Oh yeah, yeah. You got the athletic was, vans. And you got the original uh, Bruce Lee vans. The OGs. The OGs. And high kicks with these bad boys. Damn, yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to find our way to get him into a taco truck if they want to do it. hundred percent. Yeah, we don't want to pressure you guys. Oh. But also, I'm pressuring you. To do taco <laughs> well, we'll, truck. we'll have a discussion about it, and then we get back to you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm, we'll we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're I'm good. in. I'm in, man. We'll definitely help like advertise and do what we can, and then yeah, man. Maybe we can have a different conversation about it. You know, um, I'd love to commit to buying you a taco truck right now, but I don't know if I can do that. And I know you're not asking for that, but I'm just no. thinking in my head. Sometimes I get out of my out of my ways, and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna get you a house. And then we're like, <laughs> <laughs> we're with taco your house, man. Fuck, fuck it, we'll buy a building. With a <laughs> taco <laughs> building. <laughs> Dude, taco building would be insane. Dude, bro. Each floor is different. A skyscraper, Damn. just like with yeah. different regions. Taco strip club. Dude, that's yeah. the that's the top floor. Yeah, that's for sure the top floor. And there's a car wash outside. Hell yeah! yeah. Have you guys been around? Is there any tacos at strip clubs? Mm. Just the. You ever had a good taco at a strip club? No, I've had good chicken wings. I've had a nice prime rib one time. We we saw that lady that oh. fell off that pole. You want to pull pull that up, Nick? This lady will definitely. You talking from uh, a few episodes ago? You no, know, this is different person. This is somebody who had a real. We had that little thick mamacita Mexican play the mamacita? thick boy song. Oh yeah, what was that lady's name? Now here's a lady right here dancing high on the now, pole. Now this lady broke her hip. It's all fun and no, games. She didn't. Yes, she did. She broke her hip. Sued yeah, the she's, company. She's like twenty five feet up there. She sued Jesus. the company. Oh no! That's see that her. that one. You're like, oh, that's fun. And then look, this lady's like, oh, we're all fun and games. Check out my asshole. And then, <laughs> Boom, bitch! Oh, Broken hip, still twerking. <laughs> Damn, Broken that's hip, commitment. Still doing yeah. it. That's commitment. Crying, yeah. just fucking. Just like, <laughs> she's, uh, she's scooting her back, her way back to the back of the stage. She's like twerking her way to the back. No, she popped Dude. up like it never happened. Oh god, she's trying to do head spins. Though. Everybody saw it. She's all embarrassed. And the other one's acting like she's hurt. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's the crazy part. Yeah, it's insane. This is sick, man. Uh, yeah. So maybe the stripping is out of it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Depends if you want to get messy. Mm-hmm. You, you know how uh, lemon pepper dry rub got started, right? Rick oh. Ross. He was in the club with his homies. Really? And he was like, "Man, we need good wings here." He's like, "But wings are so messy." And he's like, "We need a dry rub." And they came up with lemon pepper dry rub. Whoa. For strip clubs, huh? I love lemon pepper. I, 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 oh, I that's I like a great that. story. Tell it to your son at night before he goes to bed. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I only like wet wings, man. I like it wet, daddy. Yeah, yeah. Extra yeah sauce. quit. 
looking at me, dog. <laughs> I told you before they came in, you decide to wear the pug dog shirt. Yeah. If you wear that, <laughs> I'm a looking, I'm a liking. Yeah, but you keep Then he put the do-rag on. You keep looking at me, dog, with your eyes, bro. He only has a napkin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks you're like right. you're doing fucking mechanic work. You're right, dude. <laughs> yeah, but look how we're doing mechanic work on a fucking lunch. <laughs> how's, the, how's the oil on that taco, bro? <laughs> uh, oh, I'll have your Al Morrison in just a minute. There we go. Um, Let me get one of those still. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, well, look, guys, I appreciate y'all bringing this in, man. We got to have you guys come back in uh, at some point when we got the whole crew here, when everybody could test out the talks. Yeah, and should we have him joining in some uh, topics? Yeah, you guys. Yeah, jump on this topic with us, man. And uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's talk after this about the future of Tiny Tacos and good. King of the Sting. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up, fellas? Um, got the uh, got the bike in the back for the Thick Boys Club. Uh, but quick, King it or Sting it for you. Uh, being 28 years old and moving into a nursing home. Um, got some money saved up. Uh, my grandmother lives in a nursing home. The amenities are really nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm thinking about, uh, taking the plunge. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hard pass, uh, living in a nursing home as someone Why, in his twenties, gang, gang, orangutan. Well, here's the thing about when all your fucking roommates are 99. Listen, you can get real close with Sally. She passes away. You got to think about that. So you're constantly dealing with death all the time. <laughs> then you constantly got to hear the same stories all the time. You know what I'm saying, Theo? Huh? A nice, a, a nice bedtime story is fun. Every night, though? Every night? Dude, first From of Aunt all, Becky? Every night? Bro, I, I think, first of all, you would have no FOMO anymore. <laughs> because everybody's a, if you step to 715 you're the freaking pit bull of this whole entire environment dude like you're the last. you're the rick james if you step to 730 you're rick james in place <laughs> yes bro you are a legend people are like what happened last night you know all right so if you want to be the coolest guy at the old folks home do that bubba but also think about this think about low key the life insurance policies you're going to get in on okay you show up to court dude and the kids are like who in the fuck is that and you're like i'm your grandfather's bridge partner yeah. okay. i'm your grandfather's best friend motherfucker yeah, yeah, yeah. i've known him for two weeks and he left everything to me yeah. that's who i am hands yeah. down bro sometimes showing up at the finish line is where you got to show up and then also dude you're gonna get there's a lot of sex that goes on at these places there is some wrinkly sex and dog. so you're gonna get opportunities and you're gonna get okay. Yeah, is there sex in nursing homes? What does it say, Nick? 40%. It happens a lot. About 40% uh, of people between that age. But, yeah, I've, I've seen this. I'm looking for the studies that show it's it's rampant. Yeah, if you're in a Nick dated an old Uber driver. Yeah, yeah that's fair. <laughs> I was an Uber driver. She was old. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, Nick, sorry, Nick molested a senior <laughs> passenger. Yeah. I mean, I, again, if you want to be the fucking, you know. The, the baller of the old folks home and fuck the old ladies. Fire away, my man. I don't think there's a lot of competition. I'm not talking about taking advantage of them, Brendan. I'm talking about enjoying somebody's company and giving somebody a little bit of love in their life before they go to heaven, dude. And also, you get to do all the games, dude. Board games, arts and crafts. Bingo. Stuff I love. Jello. Have you had Jello recently? Yeah, I have sugar free jello. <laughs> I dude, about two months ago, I ordered so much jello to my house, dude, and I've been loving it. It's great. <laughs> oh, you got so great. And you have unlimited. <laughs> the other thing you're forgetting about now, I'm kind of sold on it. Unlimited graham crackers. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Vanilla Whoa. wafers, dude. Imagine just showing up. You roll out of bed at four forty-five a.m. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's the tough part. You got to get up early. Yeah, get up early. <laughs> but there's imagine, no sleep in there. Yeah, you roll out of bed. There's a hearing downstairs. Yes. because your buddy uh gertrude died right yeah. so you go down there his kids show up you roll off 20 percent richer after an inheritance That's fair point into a lunch that has ice cream yes checkers all after you want to wipe your ass Easy whatever you games, want Daddy. those rails while you shit <laughs> yeah, or while you're taking a bath they just wipe you <laughs> off <laughs> you're kind of living like a king unlimited rails bro yeah. even if you're just reading you have a rail yeah <laughs> now you can't bring any hose back to the old folks home so you gotta you're gonna have to pay your dues. You don't think you can? No. You can have visitors. No, you can't bring some young thought up in that bitch. Maybe not during COVID times, but you definitely can, man. Common assisted living amenities, linen service. Sign dude. me up. Unlimited linen. You know how expensive that <laughs> is. Medication oh. management. Oh, Give me all the pills yeah. I want. 
uh, in Latino community, do they have a, do a lot of uh, grandparents go into senior care or no? no. Is it like, I've never no, heard of it. No. Like families just they family stay at home. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, to the end. They, they still yeah. there. Yeah, really? still to mm. the end. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it's kind of nice though, right? Yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, you get to spend their last moments with them. It's a beautiful thing. That's the problem with American culture is we just ship off our seniors. They ship them off into like a just a... Well, because white people, our parents get on our nerves. So you kick them out. Right. As soon as you turn 16, you're all fucking see you, Peter and Debbie. Yeah, there's no sense of like... Uh, yeah, it gets a little bit like you want your own space. Yeah, and rightfully so. Yeah, maybe. But... um, What else you got, Nick? I say king it, man. I'm for it. And, and I think stuff like this is going to start to happen more. I think you're going to see people want to have a more community style of living. Here's the problem, though. You bet you better keep it high and tight, man, because you bring COVID in that bitch, everybody dying. You know what I'm mm. saying? So you got to wear a mask at all times. Yeah. If you're going out, playing with basketball with your buddies, you come back, we got to get your COVID tested. Because one COVID positive in that old folks home, everybody dying like fucking dominoes. Yeah. There goes your whole crew. There goes your best friend. Because <laughs> you decide yeah. to grab tacos at Tiny Tacos. Especially they're dude. fucking... Yeah, yeah they're, get it. they're breathing all in each other. Hell I don't yeah. know if there's sexually transmitted COVID, is there? No, but they breathe in each other's nah. mask, probably. No, you can have sex with a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I'll king it. If he wants to do it, I'll king it. I'll king a it. A lot man. of positives now that we talked through it. Yeah, dude, imagine right now you roll out of here, you go back there. There's people downstairs always to play with, to hang out with, always, always to read. Always someone to drop knowledge on you. Talk to you about Jim Crow laws. Yeah. Talk to you about the wars. Yeah. Civil War. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin. Oh, yeah. Charles Manson. JFK. The Notebook. Watching The Notebook <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> and everybody claiming it's their story. Yeah. It should be dope, man. I told you. Yeah, You, you said right. no. I'm into it now, though. Yeah. What's up, Brendan? It's Owen here in Bangor, North Wales, UK. Gang. God bless the Welsh. Uh, there until quick country, king, I'll sing it for you. Those no, seats for the dead. Liverpool. Those in memoriam hitters. Do you want them? Would you have them when you're gone? Do you want someone parking their ass on your dead name? Oh, uh, this yeah. one's for Phyllis Dole. Phyllis Dole. Rest in peace, Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what's up, Theo? What's up, Phyllis Dole? Rest in peace, Phyllis. So, uh, yeah, let me know. King out of Sting It. Those in memoriam seats. Gang gang. Buzz buzz. I love this guy. What's his name? Uh, What's up, Theo? What's up, Brendan? It's Owen here in back. Owen. Owen. Oh, who's Welsh? Jack is Welsh, isn't he? Uh, Jack Shore, yeah. He's Jack Shore is Welsh. Darren Till's from Liverpool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Darren Till don't want this fucking smoke, boy. Ooh. Meet him at fucking, what, 190? Is that fair? Dude, I'll meet him at 100, dog. I'll chop both my arms and legs off, dog. And Come meet him get at, some, man. Meet him in a dark alley, You'll be that baddie in a wheelchair oh, yeah, after that. Dude. Hell yeah. Bro, I'll bite his fucking anus open, Hell man. yeah, dog. <laughs> no homo, bro. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But no, nah, man, they're both legends. Um, but yeah, in memoriam seats. Do you want that when you're gone? Mm. Some big fat seat where people sit? Mm. Or some wheelchair ramp? Nah, build a statue, man. Do something <laughs> cool. Let me look, man. Love you, but also <laughs> nobody's Ain't no, no statue. Nobody's building a statue of you. My dog. girl could do it in our front lawn, <laughs> bro. Like I'm Walt Disney, bitch. Yeah, there's one of Nick right there. Yeah, look, Nick has his own statue. Why can't I? Oh, now we can do something like that for you, guy. Look, right here. <laughs> okay, look. Yeah, we can be carrying tacos. I don't need it big. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just dip that bitch in gold. We'll call it even. We could do something small. Yeah, for you. all right. We could no, do something that'll be on it. You were thinking of the big, like, Michael Jackson statue? Yeah. No, come on now. I know where I'm at. <laughs> okay. I think if we do something that could be on a key ring or something. Yeah. yeah. But you mass produce them. Okay. So, yeah, we could do something like that, man. Um, Name a street after me. Yeah. You could do that. But if you live out in the country, you can do that yourself. No, I don't want some bullshit street. Like, rename Abbott Kenny, rename Main Street. I'll take it MLK Street. Whatever you want to do. But they're not going to do that, man. I mean, they might, but they're not. You never know. Yeah, I know. You take a whole freeway. Ooh, yeah. the freeways. The B Shop Thick Way. Yeah. You go down that 101. <laughs> you talking about Shop South? <laughs> yeah, I took Shop South, man. The traffic's crazy. Yeah. Traffic mm -hmm. thick. The traffic's crazy. There's just taco trucks everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just ten, it's just 10 lanes across. Yeah. It doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> it's just this. You go in these it's, like it's like a NASCAR track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go in these CTE circles. <laughs> I respect that, man. Oh, oh here's oh, Darren wow. Till right here, dude. Darren, what's <laughs> he up? He dyed his hair. He does this kind of stuff, man. 
What's up, Brennan? What's up, Theo? Braden here from Blairsville, Georgia, and I just got done hitting that leg day at the gym, you know, get my squat on. Prove it. And I got a king of this thing for you. The sauna. It's about 180 in here. I love sitting in here after every workout, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Sauna, king of the sting it. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Drip, drip, young man. Gang, gang, man. I'll tell you who loves the sauna is Mr. Joe Rogan. Does he? Yo, he swears by it. And I was in the sauna with him, and we had a sauna off. And he decided to get as hot as he could. It was a mental thing. He didn't have to tell me. He was just like, it's 180. I was like, this ain't bad. 220. 225 yeah. a camel goes by <laughs> dude i started my skin got red i started i had to get out of there yeah there's a mirage yeah it gets weird in there dude and they try to heat fuck you where you get so hot somebody tries to fuck you yeah <laughs> that's why i was worried it's gonna happen and people are like i'm not fucking you that's your imagination <laughs> <laughs> like damn dude yeah, well my ass really hurts yeah <laughs> he uh when we got out you could tell he won you know yeah. He's like too hot for him. Like, <laughs> yeah, way to go, dude. You stood in the sauna longer than me. Way to go. Yeah, man. he's like seven thousand shades of red. <laughs> yeah, way to go, Doug. Yeah, dude. I mean, he that guy Joe Rogan is a damn meat snowman, dude. I mean, he is just he can handle that heat. Extreme. He's heat. going full throttle. He's going he all temperatures. By, he swears like, that's why he doesn't have COVID and shit. Really? Vitamin D sauna. I guess, dude. Fauci ain't saying that. Yeah, but Fauci could get these hands, dog. Yeah. What does the Latino community think of Fauci, man? You guys believe in the virus or no? You guys getting the vaccination? I, I've known people that died from the virus, so I, I kind of believe in it. I'm a believer. Okay. I mean, it's real for sure, 100%. Yeah. Thank uh, God you're smart. Do you think yeah. we need, like, all the precautions that we have? you think it's overkill? I mean, it, it, it's tough because it's all a, a basis thing. It's not it's too many blankets, you know what I mean? It's like a... Certain places need certain things, and you just can't just put everything under one thing, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah I, I mean, agree, man. I mean, dude, it's tough, but... You'd be singing a different tune if you had that taco truck and they shut you down. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We got a restaurant and they shut you down. I feel bad You're like, hold that. on. People can't come here, but they can go to Rouse, the big business? That's what I'm right. saying. Like, but the small man's out? You'd be singing a different tune. That's what I'm saying. These blanket statements, they can't be put in... Right. You know what I mean? They can't. Yeah. Like, uh, how it's do wrong. I say? Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Fuck that. Well, it's crazy, too. I think uh, it's also, it's weird. Like, you can build another restaurant outside of your restaurant, <laughs> yeah. and then you can have it. Or, Insane. Then you, and then <laughs> after crazy. you build it, and after you waste all your money on it, then they're like, ah, never mind. Then they'll open up. Yeah, let's or, close it again. Or how about if I go to check in for the restaurant, I have to wear a mask, and as soon as I sit down a foot away, I can take the mask off. And they have fans blowing. Yeah, isn't that great? That's fucking retarded. It's crazy. Yeah, it just doesn't check out, man. I mean, it's just... Uh, I just don't. I, I think it's just a lot of overkill. Especially, well, especially now. And sometimes especially you gotta let the Lord work, man. Sometimes you gotta let the Lord work. The Lord's sending something now. Not at some people's. It's time to go to heaven, dude. It's your time, man. Yeah. Now, if you don't believe in heaven, he is fuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But bro. that's on you. Dad. That's, that's on, on you. you, bro. You had <laughs> yeah, a, man. Yeah, dude. You could have went every Sunday like you, everybody else. You still thinking about it? That's on yes. you, bro. Yeah, you ain't giving the club. <laughs> yeah. oh, damn. You go to church every Sunday, Theo? I don't go every Sunday, man. <laughs> okay. But I, I, that, I believe you, in heaven, man. though. I've already committed to the fact that at least when I die, and they're like, "Hey, do you believe?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you boys go to church? Uh, no. Used to, uh, used to, but after I grew a certain age, I was just like, I can't do this. Yeah, yeah. Put it's me tough. to sleep, especially Catholic church. Oh, too to long. Sleep. Put your ass to Kneeling sleep. Kneeling up and down, up and down. Dude, I went to oh Last Baptist, dog, and we got the wildest shit over there, dude. It gets funkified up in there. We had the brat at our that church one time. The brat? Yeah. What was she doing? Doing the music, man. I don't like men's anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that they would be the feet. brat. Yeah. They get high feet in those churches. It gets wild, the black, bro. The black, I've mm -hmm. been to black churches. Those oh. are lit. Yeah. I'd go to those. Black churches definitely I'd go to get those. the closest to heaven when you're in a black church. Oh. Yeah. You get the most feeling, I think. Oh, I feel like sure. I could shake gain. this gayness going to a black church. Feeling per minute? <laughs> shake it off. I don't yeah. like men's anymore. <laughs> feeling per minute you get in black church. You get the most feelings per minute. Yeah. But what about uh, in the Latino church? What is what is the vibe in there like? Catholic, Sleep, bro. It yeah. is Bo boring. Sleep. Just listening oh. to a guy it's talk like, for one hour. Oh, that's it. 
Mm-hmm. Worse than a podcast. And yeah. they have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> the worst than... podcast ever. Yeah, it's worse than this podcast. <laughs> it's a lot... No, no, you're just saying a podcast <laughs> oh. in general. Is it... Um, do they have a lot of molestation or something or in, in in that church? Or is that more just... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that shit's everywhere. I almost became yeah. an altar boy. I was like, uh-uh, I ain't Dang, going in there. Bro. Oh, yeah. I can see uh-huh. you. They're, They're pushing altar me altar there. Boy, like I'm tiny this altar boy. Boy. You got <laughs> that perfect body type for altar boy. Like, tiny, get in here. Tiny, get in here. Tell us about that new taco of the month. Yeah, I know, yeah, uh, I'm good. No, I'm good. I I rejected the hell out of that. Damn, oh. dog. Don't lie, dog. Swallow the corchata, <laughs> son. Swallow this corchata. Here goes a guy right here, and this guy is obviously. I think this guy's in prison. Good lighting. That nose is lit up. Theo, Brendan, Cat, Nick, Chappelle, and the rest of the crew, because you never know the fuck you've got there these days. Nathan here, coming from the UK. Started to lose my hair at 29. Just wondering what you guys think. When you start to lose your hair, should you comb it over, shave it off, or talk to Hims about some hair loss treatment? Let me know. Yeah, Hims promo code Ooh. cats. Doug, here's the thing. What you don't want to do is try to hang on to it. Then you got that shitty nest up there. What you got to do is do like uh, Lewis Hamilton did. Jeremy Piven, LeBron James, Donald Trump, man. You get that hair piece, son. You know what I'm talking about. The hair piece? Or you get implants either or i i think it, is the hair piece coming back like oh the... yeah because because you look at lewis hampton the before and after is nuts now he has a jagillion dollars but look at piven you know piven was losing his hair so much he played fucking uh on seinfeld uh what's the guy's name george, george. he was george costanza's double because yeah. their hair was the same wow what? that's tough Go to Lewis Hamilton though. He he's the <laughs> Lewis Hamilton <laughs> tough. Lewis Hamilton so straight bad. was going bald like Jeremy Piven. Has cornrows now. Okay, so there's his hair. Has an afro now. What's up? That what? could be you guys. <laughs> That's dope. What do you mean? We're all doing pretty. We're all doing all right. You're right. You've had seven hair procedures. I've had one or two. I don't remember if I've had two. I think I might have. You said you enjoy surgery. I do. Mine's getting thin. Is it? No, you're fine. It's just Why don't you take some off your back and put it on the top of your head? Uh, I, I I might. That That's what it'll lead to. <laughs> yeah, use that thing like a woolly willy where they just drag some up from your beard up <laughs> yeah. to the top. Yeah. Uh, speaking of hair, I need your blessing on something, Theo. Yeah, what you got, the Daddy? rat tail. Ooh. Yeah, let's see it, bro. Ooh, the rat yeah, Well, I don't know. What, what do you guys think of this? Just a bunch of oh, oh yes. shit. Oh, Apocalypto oh, yeah. up in this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's Great an Apocalypto movie. here, man. Dude, I think you could go, yeah, probably even one more inch off the back. Just go one more inch lower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't take any more off the top, daddy. But okay. yeah, I think you do another inch down, go more, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Are you losing your hair? Or is that, was that, is that like I'm you're losing it? You're losing it. Yeah, 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 let's not take any more off the top. No, you no, think? No. I don't know, man. He looks like he has good hair. No, you have good hair. It's just that for you know the for it. Look, man. I think uh, it depends. Some people looks good with bald hair. If Ro- Joe Rogan looks good with bald hair, you know, uh, some people. Dana White, Rogan, Jeff Bezos has more money than God. He's he looks bald. like shit. Bezos, it's his eye. He has one eye bigger than the other. What? I- I've never ever thought looked at the guy at all and been like, oh, this guy looks five percent decent. Oh, dude, ch- Nick, Let bring him up. Look at him now. Mr. Steal your oh, fucking damn. money. Uh, TRT here. That's like a head Rocked man. up. But dude. now here's one of the things about TRT. Once you get on to, once you go bald, then you can start doing TRT because you don't care about losing your hair anymore. Correct. That's one of the tough yeah. parts about testosterone replacement. Like if you get on it while you still have hair, you're going to lose the hair. Maybe. Yeah. So, where, so where, where do we land? <laughs> a lot of beanies in this episode. <laughs> on this one, I'm saying... If you got to do it, you got to do it. Just don't try and keep what you have and you look like Homer Simpson. Shave that shit off or get the Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, look, I think it's about... I think I would love to see somebody bring back the um, hair piece. That's what I'm saying. And it hasn't been attempted in a long time, A lot bro. of white girls, a lot of black girls, wigs, man. A nice wig cost you a couple grand, but that shit's fire. But a man wig has got to be coming soon. We could not be too far from somebody saying, I'm going man wig. a lot of like, maintenance. Is there a lot of wigs? You guys see a lot of wigs? I just see a lot of like those toupees that they just glue on your head. Yeah, they're but so that's, good. That sounds like just a pain in the ass. Man. Yeah. So good, you just don't notice them anymore. They got that good yeah. Oh, you know, another son. great hair story is Brian Urlacher, the, the Chicago linebacker legend. He was bald his entire career, got on TV, somehow grew hair. Kevin Costner has hair. 
<laughs> uh, Machine Gun Kelly was going super bald. Look at, come on, dude. Look at that. Now he, now he owns part of the company, Restore Hair and shit. Yeah, now he's a youth Damn. pastor. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, it's crazy, though, right? Yeah. yeah, it is crazy, man. That could, don't, there's hope out there, man. Yeah, there's hope out there. There's hair. I mean, in the future, they also said you, there's a company now you can take some of your hair, mail it to. Oh, wow. That's, that's spray insane. painted. You right? don't want the Pittsburgh Steeler helmet for two fucking <laughs> hair pieces. Yeah, that was Carlos. But here's Peter. the thing, man. A lot of. I feel like a lot of black and Latino guys with darker skin can go bald, bald? headed. Yeah, they look way better. Yeah, it's just like a white guy who's bald just looks like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> it's just spooky, kind of. It's just aggr- it's aggressive. A bald white guy, I'm like, oh, he can't be fun. I don't know, but some guys, it's it, it. I guess it depends on. But yeah, I think if you have if you have more skin color and you go bald, it's kind of better. Rogan's looking. the only only guy I know who's bald who's fun. Name one other guy who's semi funny with a bald head. Funny, just cool to hang out with. Most of them are dicks. Super rich though. This guy Ron, mm-hmm. I know. Professor X is pretty cool. Joe the plumber we had on this past weekend. Yep, he's bald headed. Oh my pops, he's bald. He's there pretty cool. Is he fun? Yeah, he's yeah, he's wild. He's a good time. He yeah, is he's a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and does he drink? Does he smoke? What is his deal? Uh, he used to. He is a. Uh, he got uh, sober now, so. You but he's still fun. He kept that that energy from being all hyphy and stuff, but he kept it, and you know. You you boys uh, tequila fans? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. What you tequila. Got what you got here, Nick? And here's a young guy right here wearing Carhartt. Shout Hello. out John Chris, man. This stuff is unbelievable. Another Sick. beanie. <laughs> Another beanie. Same brand too. What's up, Brendan? What's up, Dio? Huge fans out here in South Carolina hauling that fuel. Anyway, got a bait club for you. You want that trashy IHOP or you want that smothered and covered Waffle House showing up Ooh. drunk at 3 a.m.? What you think? Gang, gang, show up. Buzz, buzz. Amen, brother. First of all, hauling fuel is <laughs> not something you want to tell your mom you're doing. <laughs> no, and also focus on the road, my man. <laughs> this is, this is all up on the camera, like fucking full of gasoline back yeah. here. <laughs> this is the most dangerous ever. King of Steve, yeah, man. just driving through this forest fire with seventy thousand <laughs> gallons of fuel, <laughs> and he's on his fucking phone. Yeah, oh, <laughs> is, is, that fuel. His, is that a seatbelt? Yeah, just eating a match sandwich right here at the old fuel plant. Um. What's uh? What was this guy's question about burn victims? Waffle House <laughs> or IHOP? Let me think. Waffle House or IHOP, man? I like... Waffle House is exciting. Waffle House is you gotta fun. You got to have your head on a swivel all times. Yes. A fight might break out. <laughs> oh, Somebody dude. else takes your waffle. Yeah. We go to one at the in Baton Rouge on Christmas Eve, I think, even. We walk in. It seems like everybody's just kind of chilling. There's like six tables in there. A lady comes over, asks us if we want something to drink. We order. She comes over again, and so we start to order food, and she's like, can't you see our fucking chef quit? <laughs> Chef Tiffany quit. I have no idea how you guys run this place. (laughs) Well, why don't you tell us that? First of all, when we came in, you let us order drinks. Now we're fucking sitting here drinking. Can't even get food. Yeah, we're stuck. And then she asked me, she said, if anybody wants to go outside and talk to Chef Tiffany. So I rolled out there, slipped her 20 bucks. Get her back in there? Yeah, got her back in there. Oh, hell yeah. Tight move. Money talks. Save Christmas, dog. It was cool, man. We had a nice little time, but definitely. See, you're not going to get that at uh, IHOP. You can right. pay way more too. Right. And I hop expensive. Oh yeah. There's too they, yeah. yeah bougie. It is. And yeah. there's too many levels. There's more management and micromanagement. At Wolf House, it's you. It's one lady who maybe is working, maybe is not working. Yeah. And then the chef is Hell right yeah. there. There's six feet of set That's what of I separation. Want. Yeah. Isn't there like a Benny Hanna's too? Like this the the seats are like right next to the grill. You can do. I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah, you, they have like the bar that you can sit. Right, up right. At. You just reach over whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, grab like whatever you shit. want. <laughs> you gotta ask nobody. And, and IHOP has unlimited pancakes too, right? I think so. for a while they're doing unlimited pancakes. That, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the word oh, on yeah, the street. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. No, yeah, I don't yeah. like. Yeah. I'm out. They're no. not good pancakes. No, it's how many are you gonna eat? Like what? It's bullshit yeah. food, man. Three. I know. Just get a short stack. I'll eat a stack. You know what I'm saying? But bang for your buck, Waffle House, man. For sure. Yeah. Hands down, Waffle House. You have an entertainment value. Yeah. I saw. I saw yeah. a pimp slap his home. Dude, you might be. Yeah, exactly. You go viral on World Star. Fight breaks out. There's chicken waffles. World Star. You boys go viral. You toss a taco in there. What's up? Ooh, Product placement, yeah. bro. It's like an audition. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dude, yeah, I love that. Yeah, there's a burning wolf house. You sneak in there and get a freaking taco on the grill. <laughs> oh, fuck. Man runs into burning wolf house to cook a taco. <laughs> Makes fire Damn. taco. Hell yeah. That's Front next page. level, dog. What else you got, Nick? That's it. Damn, is that an hour? Yeah. Shit, Damn. daddy. Damn, Damn that was beautiful. Fast. Feliz, man. You got the one last taco if you guys want to just kill it. Which one is it? The uh, chins taco. Uh, we haven't tried that yet? Not chins. Oh, shit. Let's do it. Damn. All right. Damn. Do the full gamut. OT. Someone's getting paid OT And today. then I feel bad. There's a lot of tacos here. Nick, you got to try some. Oh, man. yeah. I'll, I'll take some oh, home. Nick, dude, they're so fucking good. I'm excited. Here, I'll just have one of these, man, so you don't have to open up the other thing. That's the bulgogi. It is? Yeah, bulgogi. Uh, More carrots, huh? And dude. what is bulgogi? It's Italian? <laughs> uh, it sounds like somebody drowning that was also <laughs> eating meat. Call it bulgogi. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I'm about to boogogi this girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what got your friend in trouble. Hey, Nick, is it yeah, you're right. Do you when have right, over right. under for or for diarrhea this episode? If the over, <laughs> it's if, if it's point five, I'm taking the over. Yeah, okay, for sure. Because you guys tried a lot of different foods from a lot of different places. Mm-hmm. That diarrhea. <laughs> you looking for napkins? Mm-hmm. I want you guys your mouth filled. Can we do a shameless plug right quick? How's it going? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah do yeah. work, man. Follow us on Tiny's Tacos on Instagram. YouTube channel mm-hmm. dropping March 2nd. First episode. Check us out. Dog, you guys trying to make tacos for me and Ben Askren on Food Truck Diaries? We want yeah, to. We're we don't talking. Have a truck, though. You we can pop up. That's okay. You guys can pop up. Yeah. It'll be yeah. fun. Do it out of your van. Ben Askren. Ben Askren. Damn. And there's Did fights you? this weekend, too. Fight night. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right, Sonia Blockowitz. Oh, can't wait. And Believe. counting down. Peter, Peter Rion. Aljo. Al Jermaine. Wow. Amanda Nunez, Megan Anderson. That's not a bad one to bet on, Nick. Megan's a beast. I'm betting on Laura Sanko, dude. What are you betting on? This should huh? be hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a minus 10,000. Oh, dude. <laughs> Gets my money. I bet $11,000. I've been betting on her every week. Dude, I'm going to dress up like a cattle and just show up on her property, dude. <laughs> just to get her to touch my back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, man, this one doesn't want to milk. <laughs> yeah, she's very knowledgeable. Yeah. Yeah, she's a legend, man. She's a legend. I would fight her even for charity. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> I would beat her, I, I would beat you up for her. What? She texted right now and goes, hey, can you beat up Theo? I'm like, Theo, I'm so sorry I have to do this. <laughs> Lauren asked me to do this to you. Oh, Robin Hood over here. Yeah. Huh? You're going to step in and beat up a woman? Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear that pug shirt though. Yeah, no, I can't hit a pug though, man. <laughs> I can't hit a lot of my power, dog. Still you know body. what I'm saying? That hard scarf club, baby. That taco's fantastic yeah. too. Thank White you. belt nation, man. That, yeah, dude. That B shop one's my favorite though. Of course, not, and not just because it's named after me, but it is spicy. Actually, Theo's was right there. One yeah, A, one B. I can't pick a fave. I don't even know. I mean, it's it's all just good to me. I I I I, I just feel good. Yeah, I was hoping to have Chin and a cat be here just to get. Yeah, they some passed more. away. No some one told you? They passed away. Oh really? Oh, yeah, they passed oh, away. Shit. Sorry for your loss. They put them on a bench, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to. <laughs> that's a good call. We didn't even answer that guy. We like the benches. Didn't we? No, I said I want a statue. Remember? Oh yeah, you want a yeah. statue, dude? I'll take a nice bench, man. Um, R.I.P. Billy Conforto, dude. I'll say that one of. The, Top homosexual prize fighters of the late 90s, early 2000s. And we got to get a bench for him out in Louisiana. But, um, yeah, we get a bench. What a, What's another thing you could get? A bus stop? A street. Bus stop. Bus would be good. stop. Yes. But then people's always doing drugs and fucking fist fighting and shit. That's whatever, daddy. That's true. You, you do slap street, their advertisements car on Car wash. <clears throat> yeah. Car wash. A taco truck, probably. Ooh, a memorial taco truck. That'd be good. Ooh, that'd be good. Memorial socks. Socks. Memorial oh, socks is kind of. <laughs> yeah. That's if people don't care that. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, hell no. What the fuck? Yeah. Tattoo. <laughs> yeah, cover. Bro, we don't want something that can just, you know, disappear in the wash. You know? <laughs> You'd be missing one. It has the first name and then you'd be missing the last name, you know? <laughs> true. Yeah. Tacos um, were fantastic, though. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks, Let's man. figure out the business plan for the food truck. We'll get yeah. this popping. Yeah, When's this going to This year's in. Uh, March 4th. Oh, wow. perfect. Beautiful. March 4th. Beautiful. So the following week, I'm in Cleveland, March 11th through 13th. Cleveland, Ohio. The week after I'm in Spokane. Get you some, dog. For sure. Yeah, and I'm not really touring anywhere, but... um, You're you, doing spots around L.A.? 
Yeah, yeah, doing spots around LA, and uh, that's it. Just happy to be here, man. Shout out Tiny Tacos, man. Thank you, fellas. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate Appreciate you guys. Stay tiny. This is awesome. Now let me broadcast about this little podcast. King, cause he got rat sting, cause he fought back. Theo got that, hit a great block bag. Shop like the rest of even though we never rock mask. And you know cats gonna take your breath. Lucky she got nine lives, cause she fresh to death. And I hope I don't come off strong, or make you log off. When I'm in your DMs and I send another hot dog. Huh? Just kidding, didn't send that pic. That would be too premature, just like Nick. I'm slick, I'm sick, too legit to quit. Calling me Chappelle cause I got the tricks And tell me how am I supposed to live without chin singing He gon' take you on a date and just do a lot of drinking Ain't no thing, chicken wing It's the rat with the rings and the beat who can swing It's the king and the sting hey. No kidding, yo you better listen King and the sting killing any opposition Bumbling mouse to be in the critter Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, go get that hit up That hit up, no chance of pumping them brakes Don't making no stops, don't taking no breaks Cause gang Four win 